Frankie Boy, aka Mr. Salmon Row, is here. Fish eggs are literally the healthiest food on the planet. More commonly known as caviar, some people may know it as tobiko, masago, sweetfish row, ikura being salmon row. There's many names for this food in all types of cultures, and there's a reason for this. Indigenous groups, our ancestors, various tribes, used to feed fish eggs to pregnant women, nursing women, couples trying to conceive. They were a prized food, and if an indigenous group did not have fish eggs specifically, they always had another food that they would gather, whether it's raw grass-fed dairy, shellfish, liver, that they would feed to people during key stages of development and life to ensure optimal nutrition. If we look at bears in nature, once they fatten up for the winter, they actually will only eat the roe out of the salmon. They'll kill the fish, they'll check if it has eggs, they'll eat the eggs and the liver of the fish, and then they'll leave the rest for the scavengers. There is a lot of preference for organ meats, particularly fish eggs in this case, in many examples in nature. Not only are there many examples in nature of preference for this food, if you actually look at the paper value, salmon roe has every single vitamin, mineral, and element, fatty acid your body needs in the most bioavailable animal form. For those of you unfamiliar, plant foods are missing key vitamins, and not only that, the forms of vitamins in animal foods have much higher bioavailability, and in some cases, the forms of vitamins in plant foods aren't available to the human digestive system at all. The reason fish roe sticks out for me in regards to other animal foods is because it has a substantially higher vitamin E and vitamin C content, vitamins we usually don't see present in large amounts in animal foods. Not only that, the amount of DHA this food has eclipses even wild-caught fatty fish like mackerel and herring. Most importantly, it's DHA in the phospholipid form. And Dr. Rhonda Patrick did some research showing that this form of DHA crosses into the brain easier, although they didn't necessarily have some research to show that tissue levels were actually higher. It's definitely something to consider. The nice thing about salmon roe is you could literally consume just a few tablespoons of it and not have to worry about your nutrition for the rest of the day. The only food that comes close is liver and the reason I prefer fish roe over liver is because although liver has a much higher vitamin A retinoic acid content, salmon roe has way more DHA. It's not even comparable and most people need DHA in their diet as opposed to vitamin A retinoic acid. Although I would say both liver and fish eggs are necessary components in an optimal diet, if I had to pick and choose one, it would be a tough decision for sure. I think they should both be incorporated into the diet. Now, how do you get fish roe? For me, I can go to local wholesale fish markets. They can sell me flounder roe for $2 a pound and then I can do it myself. Some of you guys have been talking to me about how expensive the ikura and some of the salmon caviar is, and yeah, it's on the pricier side. But when salmon is in season, you can buy the skines which look like sacks of these eggs in a membrane and you could separate it yourself. The problem is they usually don't sell that fresh and if you get it frozen, you can't really separate the eggs from the membrane. Uh, not only that, you know, they tend to be infected with nematodes and roundworms fairly frequently. So by buying the salted roe, you're kind of avoiding uh, that worry. I think the best way to do this is Go to your local fish market, ask them if they save the roe from filleting the fish. Maybe you can ask them to do so. Uh, see if there's any affordable fish roe that's being sold at your local fish markets. Uh, worst case scenario, just buy whole fish yourself and see which ones have the eggs in them and then go back and buy those fish at the fish market. And you don't necessarily have to consume fish roe for nutrition. You know, you can consume fatty fish, you can consume liver, and you're essentially getting the same nutrients. I just think fish roe is so complete and it's tasty and it's a very approachable food for a lot of people. Here I actually have three different uh, fish eggs, for example. 
Uh, this first one is uh, Salmon Row Ikura, and this was, this is $50 a pound, but I got about a quarter pound. The eggs are very large, like exceptionally large. These are most likely king salmon eggs. Uh, the sockeye salmon eggs are a little smaller and darker in color. The second one I purchased is Tobiko. And the reason I purchased the Tobiko is to show you what they put in the row sometimes. So they added sorbitol, which is an artificial sweetener, vinegar, bonito extract, salt, and food coloring. So is this Tobiko the end of the world? No. It's about half the price of the salmon row, but as you can see, it's pretty artificial looking. The eggs are much smaller and it does have those negative components added to it. It is a very beautiful color though, I will say. Very, very pretty. Almost as pretty as me. Now, I made my own flounder row. And this is like, I think this is a month or two old now in my fridge and I salted this. But these are even smaller eggs than those. This is just uh, flounder eggs and salt. So we'll, we'll give each of these a taste and I'll give you guys my opinion. Uh, I think we should start with the flounder row first. I made that way too salty. Oh man. The flavor is good, but this is way too salty. I'm honestly probably going to have to see if I can feed it to the birds or something. Flavor will usually be reminiscent of the fish, but have like a sweet nuttiness to it and some cholesterol flavor. So now we're going to try the Tobiko that has the vinegar and the bonito added. It's not really salty at all. I like the taste a bit. And it's definitely a good option on the more affordable side. I mean, if you're not worried about the sorbitol and the food coloring. Now, my favorite, salmon roe. And this is just has salt added. This is pretty salty. Not as salty as mine but definitely saltier than the other one. Very, very salmon-y flavor, obviously, but in regards to like natural food palatability, fish eggs are literally at the top of the chain. Like if you took a food out of an animal in its raw natural state, fish eggs taste better than any other food, bar none. The example I like to make is if you fed this food to a baby, they would go crazy for it. It has sweetness, it has saltiness, the flavor of iodine from the sea, it has a little bit of nuttiness. It, it's very, very complex. It has a cholesterol -y richness to it. This food in its natural state hits so many flavoral elements on the palate. It really is unbelievable. And I've made, I've, I've let this ferment before. It develops some very complex and interesting flavors. That's for sure. In regards to how foods taste in their natural state, salmon roe for me, and I guess fish eggs in general are definitely at the top of the list. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions about fish row, nutrition, all those things, uh, I'll link the resources in the description. If you guys would like to support me, please subscribe and share the video. If you guys want to check out my Amazon shop, I do have some products on there. I don't think they're the best, but they're definitely one way you can try this. Although I definitely recommend going to a local fish market first. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, I am doing exclusive videos for my Patreon subscribers. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and if you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, maybe in regards to food sourcing, you can shoot me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com, or reach out to me through the contact form on my website.